Alright, so what's going on guys? My name is Yoshino PZ. Welcome back to the channel and today what I have for you guys is a Black Ops 1 gameplay. So you guys wanted some Black Ops 1 gameplay. Today I tweeted out saying you guys want some Black Ops 1 or some Black Ops 3. A lot of people said Black Ops 1. So today I'm showing you guys this G11 gameplay using that gold camo on it. So the G11 in my opinion was one of the best burst rifle weapons to use in BO1 because I just like how it sounds and like how it like you know how it is no i rock i don't rock no attachments on this because the only two attachments on it is like a sniper scope and a low power scope there's no point in using that so i rock no attachments this is a naked g11 this is i, I really do enjoy black ops 1 so much i've been playing a lot of it lately playing zombies i've been playing multiplayer and i really do enjoy playing it but it, it reminds me of playing it back in the day in 2010 when i was in high school i think i was in eighth grade or ninth grade and it just it brings back memories, brings back so many memories. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. Today we're going to be talking about past Call of Duty commentators that I watched in Black Ops 1. So in Black Ops 1, I watched x -Jaws, I hate to say this, Woody's Gamer Tag, uh, Wings of Redemption, um, who else? Uh, just all the guys that use, oh, and the Market J, how can I forget about him? Everybody remembers his 101 to 1 on launch using that Galil. I think it was a Galil or Commando, one of those. Uh, but I recently just watched that video again because it just brings back so many memories. That's how I actually got into the COD community. I saw that Wings of Redemption gave the Market J a shout out. And I was like, you know, let me watch this guy's video. Let me see this. So I watched it and he, you know, he was straight up in that video. He had he sugarcoated nothing. Like literally, he said everything in that video. What you like, what you could hear, like a regular person say. He said everything. He sugarcoated nothing in it. So, Black Ops One was like the come up for some YouTubers, some big known YouTubers nowadays. And like so, sadly, X Joyce quit. Uh, he doesn't really upload that much. The Market J continues to upload. He's almost at a million subs. So props to him. And uh, Wings of Redemption, I don't know what the hell that man is doing now. Woody's Gamer Tag, that dude's like just does Minecraft or something now. So some of the OGs kind of stopped. The only one that's a lot oh, that's left is the Market J. And you know, I really did enjoy X Joys Series Two, the high roller matches inside the mind of X Joys on uh, the next Gold Gun. You know, I really did enjoy watching those back in the day. Because Xtros, his personality back in the day in Black Ops 1 was the best. And um, Mark of J's was the best too. I usually only watched Mark of J when he uploaded like 100 plus gameplay. So I was like really every single gameplay. Because he rocks the three major streaks. Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and the Kujos. That, I, I call the Kujos the Kujos just because of him. Um, you know, it, it's, it feels good. It feels good knowing that they bring back Black Ops 1. Back to Black Ops 1 as a backwards compatibility. Uh, I, sadly, they couldn't, like, fix the graphics. If they could, you know, remaster this COD for next-gen consoles, that would be crazy. So, in the comment section, I want you guys to tell me what YouTube commentator did you guys watch back in the day, or if you guys just recently started watching, who do you watch now? I want to know who you watch, uh, because I watched a lot of Market J, a lot of Extras, a lot of Wings of Redemption, a lot of Woody's Gamer Tag. Because those guys were mainly the OGs of Black Ops 1. Um, and I really did enjoy it. Especially like Mark J and x Especially I should say especially x -Jaws. x -Jaws had that, you know, that one series, the high roller matches. You know, every time I watched that, I just like was getting the urge to see if he's going to lose. Because he was like playing with a, like, he was literally like playing with a high, like high stakes. Like he would prestige in the game and then he would double down. Now this is what he would do. He prestige, and when you double down, all the money that's in that like that pot, you would earn it if you win. Now I think he was literally trying his balls off to win too because he wanted the gold gun when he prestige. I think I was watching him. I think it was one of his videos. I think he almost lost and he's just clutching one. And just like watching that, it was just excitement it was actually, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny because he thought he was gonna lose, and um you know if he would have lost. That, that would have sucked because he prestige and we prestige in this game. I think you lose all your card points and everything so it would suck um, You know you have to earn everything back you have to buy your weapons too, but you have to unlock them But you can buy them Card points in this game was just straight up in order to get gold camo You need to be 14 to 15 prestige and you needed 50k card points It's not like in other Call of Duties where you have to get like, you know, I should say 
you had the quote quote grind the game in their terms now but black ops 1 was a term of grinding because you literally needed to play to get the 50 cop points 50k cop points i should say uh cop points weren't that easy to get back in the day uh you had to do contracts legit contracts and you know it's just something you know fun to go for in black ops 1 um, not like in other cards, you have to do challenges to get like 50 headshots or 100 headshots, mad bloodthirsties. No, no. I would rather, you know, play the game, um, get cop points, and, you know, buy the weapons I want to buy, the gold camo. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to leave who, oh, I should say what commentary you guys watched in the past. I want to know who did you watch. I watched a lot of extras, a lot of wings, a lot of Mark and Jay. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, drop a like. Let's go for at least 250 likes on this video. You guys have been smashing the like button lately. Also, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We just hit 40,000 subs, and I I don't know what to say. I, I may just do a, like a gaming setup video for 40K. If you guys want me to upload that later today, tell me. I would upload it later today for you guys. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.